card beam, so you have the uh, composition to take a look at. So I'm going to put this guy up at the top, top left. But again, I'll just start with the beginning to get you get you going here. So the top piece has a circle, and now you can see that the <coughs> if I started it off with the center line, the nose would be relatively low, and the cheeks, and the same with the the eyes. They're kind of crossed in on this character. So if you draw them kind of like the egg character, you can see that the mouth would still be there, but all this is extended out and becomes another shape. So this circle kind of comes ta -ta -ta, comes out to this part here, and it establishes a whole nother circle for this character, and kind of brings it all up into this section, kind of loops it together, bends it off into that section, and this becomes angled inside the side. So it gives you a center center point right up at the top. So once you have that, you can find a local center line from here and right from the nose. So it's kind of careening over the cheeks. And this is also a, on an oval type shape. So when you see the mouth coming around and the eyes, you can do the same thing. Find the center line. This also has the center line for the nose when you take a look at it setting it right there. And then as it comes down the front of the face, this also has a symmetrical beginning, but then it's all squashed and stretched around. And you can see it's the same kind of a bow shape wrapped around all around this face. So it really builds that up and then it has the side cheek on the one side, the far side, and this part that has the jowl on this part, on this side. And it still stems back to the bridge of the nose. And you can see it kind of curves down to allow for the eyes to take take shape right in there. So just drawing the overall kind of exaggerated shape for the oval of the eye and then the kind of the frown of the face for the expression there coming down onto this piece here. And then anything that comes up beyond here, you have the shape of the top of the head, a little rounder. S sides are kind of coming down at an angle. I'll put a little bit of the pupil in there just so you can see it. Because it helps with the expression of the face, helps give you a little bit. The bridge of the nose has a few wrinkles as he crunches up the, the nose there. And builds that part out. So here's furrow in the brow, just kind of showing his anger, and then he has the side pieces up there. So you kind of have the two circles coming together, and even the, the teeth as they wrap around are also going to help with that angle, giving that feel to it. And then with the ears, again, you can still see a circular beginning. You can't see the opposite side, it's on the other side. But this gives you a little bit of start still folding down that flat piece and within there is where it's going to be the actual shape. So here again, here's the flat piece right there. So then this kind of has a center line for this rounded section to take place. And on the outside, so it's slowly building up this piece right here you can see the ridge on the other side. So just for a beginning, that's that's what I'll show you to get you get you started onto it. And that'll then just flesh out the rest of the drawing and you should be fine. Come back and show that to you.